Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple features in the new Firefox 4 browser for Mac that will help you stay organized as you do your genealogy research on the web. The first feature is called Group Tabs, and that allows you to put tabs with related content together into groups, getting them off of the tab bar into its own window. And so you can see I've got a number of tabs open here and so many that I would have to scroll back and forth to be able to find what I'm looking for. And it gets difficult to read these uh, because the names get truncated as more tabs are added. And so I suggest creating a genealogy tab group and moving your genealogy related windows to it. And the way to do that is to select the first tab that you want to use to start the group and then control or right click on the tab and then hover on this context menu item that reads move to group and then select this one by clicking on it that says new group and so that moved that tab off to a new group and we can see it if we go over to this little icon on the very right side of the toolbar and click on it that brings up these little tiny group windows that show the contents of each of these groups. And so this one with the stack of windows is the that main window and we can make this bigger so that it'll split those out into little icons so we can see what all those things are. And since we're going to be adding some here I'm going to make this one bigger as well. Now if you create a group that you don't, don't want to keep you can press this X button here to delete it and you can also name these groups. So I'm going to name this one Genealogy. And that's handy when we're back on here. Say we want to add another tab to that group. I'm going to put Lineoscope.com in here. So I control clicked. I'm going to go move to group and here we can see the name, the Genealogy group. And so that moved that over to that group. So now we can see this Genealogy group has two tabs in it. And I don't know whether you noticed, but if I go back over here to that group, now we only have these two tabs in here, even though all those other ones are open in this other view. So we still have all of these. And now you could continue to control or right click on these tabs and move them that way, or you can drag and drop them if you're in this group's view. And so I'm going to grab the genealogytools.com and move that up here. And I'll grab familysearch.org and Ancestry.com. So those are right now the genealogy related tabs that I have open. And if we select one of these in this tab group then you'll see that the genealogy related tabs are all in here and the others are sectioned off into their own tab group. Now this leads us to the second new feature that I think is helpful for us as genealogists and that is something called app tabs. So when you have something that you want to be present on all of your groups and you're, you're very familiar with the application icon, you know it by sight and you use it all the time, you may want to create an app tab for it which makes a tiny little narrow tab over here that stays there regardless of which group you're in. So Gmail is a good example of this. If you're a Gmail user you may want to change your Gmail t um, window into an app tab and similar to the way that you did for moving things to a group if you control or right click on that tab and select this context menu item pin as app tab you'll see that Gmail just changed to a little narrow tab and it's over here on the left all the time no matter what I select over here and even when I switch groups you can see that that Gmail app tab is still there even when I'm in the genealogy tab group and I, so I can open up my Gmail without having to switch back to that other tab group. So that makes it a, a very handy way to have commonly used applications available regardless of your group tab and the group tab makes it handy to have only those tabs for sites that are related to the current work that you're doing available on your tab bar.